in the focus on keeping people healthy, communities and cities are very important. We know that having relations with others is very important, both for happiness and for health. And we also know that the way we build cities, the way we do the infrastructure, has a huge impact on health and quality of life and well-being. Hi, my name is Martin Kruse, and I've been asked to uh, shortly touch upon the relationship between health and urban planning. When you think about it, uh, initially you can't really see the relationship, but um, given the fact that most of us are urban dwellers and we are going to live most of our lives in, in the city, uh, the city is, of, of course, a huge importance to, uh, to health. And I think uh, the relationship here is can be at least um, uh, looked at in, in at least four different uh, areas. Uh, one is the creation of recreational spaces, meeting places where we can uh, meet other people, uh, which is of huge importance for, for well-being, also have green areas. And closely tied to that, areas where we can exercise. But that also relates to how we get to work. So. Uh, it's obvious that there are places in the world where it's hard to um, to use a bike, and there are other places that are, you know, where it's much easier, like in Copenhagen or Amsterdam. So this, of course, also has an importance in relation to health, and maybe something which is um, sometimes not looked too much upon is uh, loneliness. The fact that you can have uh, a city which is designed to, to to meet other people. This is a really something that urban planning has, has been moving back towards. Uh, the old Roman way of designing, so you have a center square where, where people would meet. A social sphere and the necessary meeting places. In these days, uh, we talk a lot about um, COVID, how uh, hard it is hitting us. Uh, but I think it's, it's important to remember that you know, there's uh, below 2 million people who have died from COVID. Uh, but there's um, some 7 million people that die every year from pollution. I think that's probably one, one way to look at the cities as well. How do we create livable cities? And how do we create cities that don't kill?